Okay, so it's time to do the final mission in the main campaign of Exapunks. Uh, Ember has decided that she needs a copy of Our Brain so that we can join in with her uh, for her future endeavors. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to map a copy of Our Brain for her. Uh, what we have to do is there. There's a network here. Uh, it's not. It's not coordinate based, but the links are always between. They're minus three, minus one, one or three, and the configuration of the network changes each time. So there's no consistency whatsoever on this network. And then each host on the network may or may not have a nerve register in it. Uh, so. What we have to do is we have to generate a file in our host that has the names of all hosts that have a nerve in them. So this one has a name, this one has a name, but this one does not. Well, actually, no, they all have names, but this one has a, uh, a nerve, this one has a nerve, this one does not. They all have host names. So we have to create a list of all of the hosts and the values that are stored in them. And it has to be sorted in ascending order by the host name. So like, for example, on the uh, on the goal here, you can see that the hosts all start with like AR and then have a, a number associated with them. And they're they're in ascending order. It starts at AR02 and then AR14, then AR29. So that's an order. We have to generate that. And it's, it's much easier said than done. So the first thing that we have to do is we need to figure out all of the hosts that are there that have nerves in them. So the first thing we do is execution agent A is going to create a blank file. This is the one we're going to use in the end. And then is going to replicate an agent that is called the spider. Here is our spider. The spider is going to be in charge of exploring our network. So the spider is going to link across 800 and then it is going to create a copy of itself that is going to spider along M3, which is minus three, P1 plus one, and P3 plus three. And I'm not creating one that'll go on minus one because that'll end up making us backtrack into our host. So I've just hard coded that at the start, I want to check minus three, plus one, and plus three. I don't want to check minus one because that will always take us back to our host here on the first step. So I'll create an agent that's going to go and explore each, each of those directions. You'll see the first one failed because there is no minus three, but this one is going to succeed because there is a plus one and this one's going to succeed because there is a plus three. Then execution agent A XA zero having finished creating its uh, other agents is now going to check and see is there a nerve in the host that we're currently on. So it'll first copy nerve into T. If there's a nerve there, this will succeed and the agent will be fine. If there is no nerve there, this is where the agent will destroy itself. So we'll end up from this point on only having execution agents that are in a host that has a nerve. So then the next thing we'll do is I'm checking to see if X is equal to zero. For right now, it'll always be equal to zero. So we, didn't, we don't need to worry about that. So we're gonna jump over to our send host marker. That's now going to cause XA zero to copy the name of the host and send that over the M network. Now XA is currently not listening. It's not, it's not currently listening for the host names. It's waiting a second here to make sure that the spider has had some time to explore because there's not always going to be a nerve in the first one. There are a few of them where the nerves are actually a few steps out. So I have a loop here where execution agent A is going to wait just a little bit to see if uh, to give the spider some time to get out there and actually start finding nerves and sending the names back. Six was the lowest number I found that I could put for T that would cause all 100 scenarios to pass. Uh, if I change this to five, it failed. So I just I just chat, tried each number until I found the, the lowest one. So I put six as our waiting. We're basically killing time until the spider has time to explore. The rest of the spider is doing the same thing that the first one did, uh, just being aware of the direction it had come from. And so we'll not send something back. So if I go across one, going back would be minus one. So if I say spider 
across plus one. I link across one and then I create one that'll explore every other direction. So minus three plus one again or plus three. There's no minus one because that would send us back and then we would end up basically going forever. But because I have separate spider uh, blocks of code for all of the five different scenarios, the starting and then the four different directions, this will end up exploring the whole network just once and then stopping. So I'll let this go for a bit. And you'll see, we explore the whole network, and those who have found hosts are sticking around trying to send their host over the M network, or over the M register. Now that XA has finished waiting, it's going to start writing the, the values that we're getting in the hosts back. So it gets one of them, doesn't matter who it gets it from, it gets one of them. And then at the top of the loop, it's going to see, do I have another name to read? This is why we waited, is because we wanted to make sure that there were multiple agents that were out and ready to start sending over hosts so we we listen again is there another name for there for me to copy down if there is copy it down then we do it again is there another name this will read all of the names you'll see that now the spider has had plenty of time to finish and all that's left are just guys who are putting out their names so we'll get the last of these names in and then we'll check one more time do we have any more names to read and this time we don't so now we're going to go into sorting uh Unfortunately, and as a side note, you are not able to just say uh, read in 10 host names because they're not all 10. Some of them have 11, some of them have 10. There are probably ones that have nine or 12 as well. The number of nerves that are here is not constant across your scenarios. So you need to be informed in some way in this, in this approach. We need to be informed of when are we done reading host names. So, we have gotten all the host names. They are not sorted at all. They are completely random. And we had no real easy way of sorting them as we, came, as we took them in. So now we're going to sort them. So what I do to handle the sorting is I put a zero at the end of my file. And what I'm going to do, the algorithm I've chosen, is that I'm going to basically scan over this whole file and pick up the lowest one and then put that on the far side of the zero. And then I'll repeat that process. I'll pick up the next lowest one and put that at the end past at the far end of the zero. And I'll keep doing that. The zero will keep working its way up the list until the zero is the first one on the list. When I get to that point, I know the list is fully sorted. And let, we'll illustrate this as well. Uh, let's see, can I minimize this to actually make that a little easier to see? Perfect, okay. So the first thing we do is we go back to the beginning of our file and we're going to copy the first one into our x register and then we're gonna we're gonna clear it out because we're picking it up picking one up and we're gonna move it past the zero but the one that we're holding on to is not always going to be the first one we picked up we'll swap if we find one that's lower so we're gonna test if x is equal to zero this is our case for when we know we're done if we know that the thing we just picked up was the zero then we know we've we just ended but that we're just starting so that's not gonna happen so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the lowest. We're going to scan through and find the lowest one. So I copy something into my T register and I'm going to uh, compare them. Or I'm going to I'm going to check to make sure it's not the zero, because once we hit the zero, we know that we are done with this scan through. Since it's not the zero, I'm going to test. Is it less than the one that I'm currently holding on to? Since this one is four, four is less than 90. Uh, what we're going to do is go back copy it back into our t register and then put our x one we're going to drop our x we're bait we're, we're performing a swap so we're going to drop the 90 in where the 44 was and now we're going to save the 44 into our x register this is our new lowest and then we'll repeat the process we'll keep going through 75 is higher than 44 so we're not going to replace that one 93 is higher than 44 so we're not going to replace that one but 29 is lower than 44 so we are going to end up picking up the 29. And there you go, now it's in our X register. And this process will continue grabbing the lowest one. I think the 025 is the lowest one, so the rest of them will just kind of be skimmed over until we hit the zero. So we've cop we'll copy zero into our T, and because when T is zero, it is false, we'll hit this F jump place at end. Place at end is this chunk down here where we're going to just jump all the way to the end of the file. We're currently there on the first one, but in future loops of this sorting algorithm we'll actually be jumping skipping ahead so we jump to the end and we drop off 
the the host. We know that this is currently the lowest one. Now what we need to do is we need to know what is the nerve value for that host. So I have the host currently saved in my X register and I'm going to one sec. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. We're going to call the spider again, the same algorithm that we did at the very beginning of the uh, at the very beginning of the level. So here's my new spider. But this time the spider actually has a host name in its X. This is different. When we first started it, X was zero. Now there is a host name in the X. We're going to explore the network in the same way that we did before. But when we get to the send info, where before we were sending over what our host name was, if we had a nerve over to XA, this time we're going to go into into here. We're going to first check and see, is there a nerve? Then I'm going to see, is X zero? At the beginning, X was zero. So we would jump to send host and we'll just hand a host over the over the M network and be done. But since we actually have a host, what we do now instead is we copy our host into T and we test to see is the host that we are in the same as the one that we are looking for. If it's not, we halt. If it is, we'll be sending over the nerve. So let me see if I can find the one that has the correct. I guess we'll see which one tries to throw up uh, information across the M network. This guy right here, okay. This guy right here, he's in the he's in the correct host. He's in AR025 he, and he has found the nerve in here and he's going to send that over the M uh, over the M register. XA is currently waiting for somebody from that spider it sent out to give me give me the nerve value and I'm going to write that in my file where 025's value needs to go. So this guy succeeded. He's going to send 63 over. XA knows, okay, we've finished the spider. I can go and restart my my bubble sorting that I'm doing here. The spider is going to continue for the moment, but none of these are going to find the host because we've already found it. So they're all gonna end up fizzling out on their own while execution agent A continues to sort. So now he's A is going to pick up the, the first thing in the list, which is a 90 and is going to compare it. 75 is less, so it's going to pick up the 75 instead. Then it's going to pick up the 44, because that's lower. Then it's going to pick up the 2.9, because that's even lower. Then it's going to pick up the 1.4, because that's even lower. Just working its way down the list until it hits the zero. Then once we see that we've hit the zero, we skip to the end, drop off our next lowest host, and then send out another spider. Hey, now I need the information for this host. And the, and the spider will go out until it finds it, that is going to send it over and this continues so we end up sorting through the list and the list gets smaller with each iteration that we go through here so the spiders should be getting sent out at a faster rate with each iteration theoretically and this will keep going i'm gonna i'm just gonna hold the play button on this for now and we'll keep going you can see the file is getting sorted in the bottom left and you can see that the zero is slowly working its way up the list. Now there's only four things that are left. Now there are only three after the one that we're currently working on. The spider goes out, retrieves it. Now we only have a few left. And now we know this last one here is the biggest one. So that's going to go out. They're going to spider, bring that in. And now we're near the end of our sorting algorithm. We drop off that value. And now execution agent A is going to uh, pick up the zero out of the file. And then we'll do this test X is equal to zero. It is because that was the one we were using as like our buffer in the middle of our file. And it's going to halt now that it sees that it just picked up the zero because the file that it is holding is sorted and is exactly what the algorithm is looking for. So I'll let this run for a little bit while I kind of just talk over a couple of the other solutions that I had tried on this one. A big problem that I was trying to solve on this problem was the fact that the values and the host names needed to be kept together. Um, if you tried to send over the host name and then the value or, or you know, you can't combine them. You can't send them over the same M 
like the same cycle. You'd have to use two cycles to send values across. If you tried to do that while spidering across a network in the in the multi-branch way that I was bef that I am currently, uh, you'll end up with race conditions. You'll have multiple agents trying to send information to XA at the same time, saying like, "Oh, here's a." Um, Here's my host name, and then this guy's like, here's my host name, and XA will be like, okay, give me your host name. And then it's like, okay, now give me the the value that goes with that host name. You have a 50-50 chance of getting the value sent over or getting this other host name thrown in there as well. And, and I could not come up with a good way of handling both parallel exploration of the network and keeping the data together. Uh, so what I ended up having to do, and, and a path that I was working down for a long time in this problem, was trying to do a, a sequential search of the graph. I had one agent that was basically active at a time, exploring through the network, and then once it finished exploring, it would report back to the one up, the next one up the chain, and say, "Okay, I'm done exploring this path. You can go check another path." And that way, only one agent would be finding a nerve and reporting that information to execution agent a before it would go to the spider and say okay keep exploring now uh that that did work but it was much slower than this parallel exploration uh and so this idea came uh, i was looking at some some advice from other people on like reddit threads about how to explore the network and handle all this some people were leaving like guide posts that would say like this is how you can get back to your host from uh like anywhere in the network or uh and so they would have like people writing down the host name and the the nerve value in a file and then coming back running back to the host with it and then handing that off to the host or handing it off to your reader in the host it was kind of weird some people would take the file with them while they were exploring the network and fill it up uh as they're doing so uh but I, I realized that if I wanted to get a good performing solution for this one, we needed to get, explore this network in parallel. And I realized that if I could get exploring the network down to very efficient, like I think the spider will cross the whole network in under like 60 cycles. Uh, I, I realized that if it took me about 700 cycles to explore the network to begin with, uh, when I was doing my sequential searching, that doing 60 cycles 10 times to search the network 10 different times was still faster than uh, the 700 times it would take me to go sequentially. And then being able to integrate uh, spidering the network while also sorting my solution is what led me to find a good solution that performed pretty dang, pretty dang well. Uh, the goal was to, uh, my goal on this one was to try and get under a thousand. And I think I did nail that. So I'll let this run. There you go, 975 on that one, uh, which is pretty awesome. You can see that I had a low, a high score of 62 back when I was doing my sequential one, much lower value for activity. The spider definitely makes the uh, definitely makes the activity score go up, but in general, you know, my goal is low cycles, and we nailed it. So I was really happy to finally get that one done. That's the that's the final mission in the main game. There are still nine like bonus missions that I'll be going over as well. But as far as I'm concerned, the game has been uh, has been cleared. So thanks for watching so far. If you're interested in seeing the other solutions as well, uh, those videos will also be put up. So hope you look forward to it. But yeah, thanks.